we know that we have been warming up our planet, uh, but we haven't really been focusing on um, what that means in relationship to um, rising temperatures. And the last few years, we've been experiencing incredible heat waves that are longer, um, they have they are higher in temperatures, and they are more frequent. People living in cities are particularly vulnerable to these extreme heat events because cities tend to absorb heat due to the materials that they are made from, but also they, they produce a lot of heat. Basically, what is interesting about heat and what is very, um, very important to keep in mind is that heat brings to the surface uh, existing vulnerabilities. So the people that are socioeconomically the most uh, marginalized are the people that are the ones that are most vulnerable to heat. We have to raise awareness among policymakers and decision makers to understand that heat is extremely dangerous and that it's linked to numbers of mortality and morbidity that we still do not realize how high they are. But the main thing that we can do in our cities today is to radically bring nature into our cities um, and really focus on creating green and blue infrastructure or what we call nature-based solutions that are really our best ally for dealing with uh, the new extreme conditions that uh, cities will have to confront uh, because of climate change.